Hello everybody and welcome back to another trip report. Today I'm here at Sydney Kings Smith Airport and I'll be flying from here up to Gold Coast with Qantas on board their 737-800 fleet. Right now I'm just walking over to our gate which is gate 9. We should be leaving in roughly half an hour. Checked in and we're walking to the aircraft across the air bridge. We have boarded about an hour late due to the cabin crew coming in from Melbourne late because of weather delays. Hello. Yeah, that's all good, thank you. Just Thanks. on your left. The economy cabin is in a 3-3 three, three layout and the business class cabin is in a 2-2 two, two layout. Right now my seat for today is 20F which is on the right side of the aircraft. A oh, very good evening everyone, my name is Anthony Jackson, I'm your captain on this uh, Qantas flight 596. I'll now go through the seat features of this aircraft. Uh, Up here we have a USB port for charging here. cables. We also have a folding tray table, which can also come out. It's nice and smooth and it's also pretty clean as well. They're just on another gate at the moment, disembarking. They'll make their way over to this aircraft and then we'll get underway. About an hour Down below we have the Qantas 737 800 safety card, a Qantas magazine, and also a sick bag. And then fine weather up in the Gold Coast. Once the cabin crew's here, I'll be doing Down the side here we have channel changer and volume changer. This is for the Qantas IFE entertainment. So that will probably take us about 10 minutes once they arrive here and then we'll be underway. The legroom on this aircraft is not very good at all from what I remember. It's 75 centimetres, so it's not very good for a tall person like me. It's also quite squished and cramped. Up at the headrest, the headrest move, which is nice. The seat is also nice and comfy. To the right of me is a Qantas A330 which will be heading down to Melbourne later this evening. Shortly afterwards the cabin crew came around with a Qantas set of headphones. These are quite nice instead of using the cabled headphones or the wireless ones. It was also free of charge. I have to admit that Qantas safety demonstration video is probably one of the best out there in the world. When we were taxed into the runway, I saw the Singapore Airlines Cargo 747-400. I hadn't seen one of these type of aircraft for a long time, so I was pretty stoked to see it. The pilots has also just announced that we are heading to the farthest runway from where we are, so that will add another 10 minutes travel time, I'd say. After waiting on the runway for about three minutes when there was no air traffic around, including planes taking off and landing, we finally are now rolling onto the runway for our takeoff.
I forgot to mention that this aircraft obviously has a folding window shade. Up above each person has individual air vents and also individual reading lights. Qantas' IFE Entertainment is not bad, it's not the best in the world. It's very laggy as well, which isn't the best in the screen. It's a little bit dirty, but there's a couple of, well there's quite a few movies and comedy sections and some new releases as well. Now time to check out Qantas's moving map. And oh my goodness gracious me, that isn't the best moving map I've seen flying for sure. That is pretty horrible, you can't even move it. One of the best moving maps, I have to say, is on Singapore Airlines. The cabin crew is now moving around the cabin, distributing food and drinks. I forgot to mention that Qantas also has free Wi-Fi on this flight. But it doesn't work. Shortly afterwards, the crew came around with this interesting looking box. I also asked for a lemonade and they gave me a bottle of Schweppes. A little packet of soy rice crackers was also distributed among the cabin. What I'm holding here is very interesting. It's a mix of beef, onion, peas, carrots and some sauce. I think it's bolognese. Like a pie something. It's pretty interesting, it's not the tastiest thing I've had. We're about three quarters of the way there. Right now there's a little bit of turbulence in the cabin. A couple of the kids have been screaming before and which is pretty natural.
distance to those lights is the skyline, the lights of the Gold Coast. So we're coming into land very shortly. Gold Coast Airport also has a new terminal which is for the domestic terminal I'm pretty sure. It was built, well, it was finished construction around halfway through last year. So it's good to see Gold Coast Airport expanding a little bit. And welcome to the Gold Coast, where the local time 9.14 p.m. I'm now waiting to go inside the cockpit to take a look. I'm now going to conclude this trip report for this evening. The most major thing probably was the delay, which overall was about probably nearly two hours, I'd say. 
of delays, which is quite annoying, lots of hanging around at Sydney airports. But other than that, it was pretty good. The plane ride itself was fun, food was decent, and the customer service was good as always. It was also good to go inside the cockpits. I'm now heading out of the tunnel now. I'd like to thank everyone for watching this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below and also check out my channel. Stay safe everyone. And I'll see you when my next trip report comes out.